Hello everyone, Jason Updike here. Victor Akinagbe and I are excited to share our Microsoft Unified Communications interoperability demonstration with you today. We've integrated Microsoft Link, Microsoft Exchange, Cisco Unified Communications Manager, and Polycom to demonstrate how your organization can reduce costs and increase user productivity in your hybrid telephony environment. Here at Microsoft, we understand our customers have significant challenges ahead, and we hope this video demonstrates how we can help. Our federal customers are facing unprecedented budget cuts and want to know how we can help reduce their overall spend. They also want our help in driving user passion, increasing user productivity, and enabling new mobile and bring your own device scenarios. They've told us that they have existing investments in telephony equipment that they want to maximize the value in. And they want to be sure that any new investments will integrate easily and seamlessly. We think Microsoft Link is a great catalyst for all of these concerns. At Microsoft, we have focused on our multi-vendor integration in the telephony space. And we believe that Microsoft Link helps you to enable your hybrid communications environment. By integrating Microsoft Link and Microsoft Exchange into your communications environment, you can cut legacy PBX and voicemail expenses, make your users more productive, and remain flexible in the wake of rigorous government regulations such as JITIC testing and Assured Services SIP communications. Let's take a quick look at the high-level architecture we've built into our Unified Communications Interoperability Lab so far. Our environment currently consists of two networks, a private network and a production network. We chose this network model because it mimics the way many of our customers are configured today with their existing telephony equipment deployed into a private IP subnet. By adding a router, we can now route IP traffic between the private and public networks. As you can see, we've deployed a Cisco Unified Communications Manager version 8.6 along with a pair of Cisco 7975 IP phones. In the production network, we've deployed Microsoft Link Server 2010 and Microsoft Exchange Server 2010 with the unified messaging role to handle our voicemail. On the client side, we have two Windows 7 PCs running Link 2010 client, both with headsets and webcams attached. One of the clients also has a Polycom CX600 Link telephone connected. This allows an executive type to still have the feel of a hard desk phone at a reduced cost comparably. We've integrated the Microsoft Link and Cisco telephony systems with direct SIP. In Cisco terminology, this is called a SIP trunk. This SIP traffic flows directly over TCP and can be configured to flow over TLS in more secure configurations. For this demonstration, we have imagined two personas. First, we have Colonel Mark Sanders running Microsoft Link on his PC. He also enjoys having a hard phone on his desk, so he has chosen to use a Polycom CX600 Link integrated telephone. Next we have Tech Sergeant Mike Jones. Tech Sergeant Jones is also running Microsoft Link on his PC, but he also has a Cisco 7975 phone that he likes to use. You will also see later in the demo that Tech Sergeant Jones has configured his Link and Cisco telephone to ring simultaneously. It's important to note here that this is the brilliance in the Microsoft seamless Link integration scenario. The number of options for endpoint devices are endless. Some users could use a simple headset on their PC. Some users could use a link integrated telephone. Some users may still want to keep their traditional TDM phone. Command and control users will definitely need to keep their phone that supports preemption and precedence. The power here comes with choice. Let's go ahead and dive into the demo. We wanted our users to have the most seamless and smooth experience possible. One of the great benefits of Unified Communications is the ability to click to call, rarely if ever having to remember a phone number. So in the period of about 8 hours, we configured all of the dial plans and routing into the direct SIP configuration by utilizing the Cisco Call Manager web interface and the Link Control Panel. We also configured voicemail via the Exchange Admin Console. Here's a demo of Colonel Mark Sanders placing a call from his Link soft phone to Tech Sergeant Mike Jones. You'll notice the Colonel simply right-clicks on Tech Sergeant Jones in his contact list and dials. Over at the Tech Sergeant's desk, you'll see that he has configured his Link client and his Cisco phone to ring simultaneously. You can also configure this simul ring to your cell phone if you're away from your desk or your PC. You'll notice the caller ID by both name and phone number passed through the direct SIP integration seamlessly. 
Now it wouldn't be a real demo if we didn't show the integration working in the reverse direction. As you can see, regular extension dialing from the Cisco phone initiates a call over to the correct user and link. And here's another scenario. The Polycom phone dialing directly to Cisco by extension. We can assure you all combinations work, transfers, multi-party conferencing with crystal clear sound. You'll also notice by the lights on the Polycom phone that the user's presence is being changed automatically from available to in a call. Let's move on to an example of the Exchange Unified Messaging voicemail integration. Here, Tech Sergeant Mike Jones will place a call to Colonel Mark Sanders. Over on the Colonel's desktop, you'll see the link toast notification of the incoming call. Notice the redirect option available right on the notification pop-up. Link is automatically presenting several options to handle this call. In this case, the Colonel chooses to redirect to voicemail. Once the kernel is free and back in Outlook, you'll notice that Exchange Server 2010 has delivered the voicemail directly to the kernel's inbox. This tight integration turns voicemail into a visual experience. No pins to remember, no auto attendant to deal with. Here the kernel plays the message back directly in Outlook. You'll also notice that Exchange 2010 has translated the voicemail message from a sound clip into text. This is especially powerful because the voicemail is now indexable for search. The text is even hyperlinked and allows you to skip ahead to that portion of the message. Thank you all for watching. This concludes the demo for now. We hope you've seen how Microsoft Link and Microsoft Exchange can seamlessly integrate into your existing communications environment. We hope you've seen how this hybrid approach can help you to cut costs by reducing legacy PBX and voicemail spend where it isn't required. We hope you've seen how Microsoft Link and Microsoft Exchange can help your users to be more productive and that with the choice of endpoint and flexibility of the options you deliver to your users, you can have the best of all worlds. Less spend, tighter compliance with federal regulations, and more productive users. Oh, and one last thing. This is just the start of our Unified Communications Interoperability Lab. Victor Akinagbe and I have grand visions for this environment to include more vendors such as Avaya and Acme Packet, cross-vendor XMPP IM and presence integration, and ASIP coexistence to demonstrate how Department of Defense customers can take full advantage of this integration while saving money and remaining compliant with regulations. Victor's done a great job illustrating a portion of our vision with this picture. And thanks again, folks. Feel free to reach out to your Microsoft contact for more information.